Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at uh, what sort of coins you might want to be buying in a down market, plus also taking a look at the, some of the new updates we've just made to the masters area of uh, the Mitru.ninja site, and also taking a look at Bitcoin and where be we believe the, uh, the future of Bitcoin lies over the next couple of months. So over here on CoinMarketCap, we can see that we've got a, a lot of green <laughs> happening over here on, uh, on some of the top coins. However, uh, the markets are, as I'm sure you're aware, pretty down on where they were just six months ago. So uh, despite all the green, uh, we're... but obviously taking a look at the price of Bitcoin, that is an epic slide down from where we were. So what we want to know is uh, which of these coins here on CoinMarketCap are the ones that are going to get you the most possible profit over the next two to three months and maybe the next year. Uh, the problem is, is uh, a lot of these YouTubers on here that talk about cryptocurrency will tell you obviously do your own research and that's really great advice where they'll tell you that what you want to do is go to each of these uh, individual coins, go to their websites, download their white paper, read through the white paper about three or four times and uh, research, 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 do your own research. What a load of rubbish. It really is guys. So I am from a real estate investment background as a property investor and I have lots of friends that invest in properties and also the stock market as well. And what I can tell you now is professional property investors absolutely do not go and research every single property. So take a look at what I mean. So over here right now we have right move and we're looking at Waterlooville in Hampshire. There's 622 results. So do you believe that as a professional property investor, you're going to go and view every single one of these houses here and go and do the research and do the due diligence on every single property? Uh, let's face it, guys, obviously not, right? You're not going to go and view 622 houses. Why would you do it with cryptocurrency? Right. What actually happens in, in property is you're going to go to a website like this. You're going to do some uh, searching find the types of houses that you're interested in and this is exactly what you do in cryptocurrency you've got to choose what it is that you actually want before you go looking to buy it and so say if you're a property investor you might be looking to um, you're looking for tenants that maybe uh, as a private landlord you're probably going to be looking for something like semi-detached or detached houses so we'll just click that one for now all of a sudden 622 is down to 127 and maybe you're looking for family houses with kids because uh, you know young families they're going to stay in your property for a longer time than um, maybe if you're looking at HMO house or into a multiple occupancy uh, those are more short term maybe like six months to a year if it's students or just young professionals they they're quite they move around quite a bit so you want families with kids they've got a garden all of a sudden are we going to see that go down quite a bit more in fact we didn't uh, so we're going to say that they want some parking as well and doo -doo 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 -doo. let's say we want auction properties uh, oh there aren't any sorry um <laughs> so now anyway we've gone from 622 down to 119 so that gives us a bit more of a clue and then maybe rather than newest listed we'll organize by price and just find the cheapest ones that gives you a bit of a drill down um, from the 600 that was there to start with. Now, in cryptocurrency, you don't have 600. Uh, every on crypto uh, coin market cap we have, if we scroll all the way down right now, it is always changing on coin market cap. Right now, you have 1,597 coins to look through. Read all of those. Um, white papers it's just ridiculous i mean if you're a property investor and you're going to go and view 600 properties obviously by the time you get to that 600th one uh, you know the first few that you've viewed they're already sold they probably sold about six months ago right so you can't go and look at every single white paper you can't go and research all of these you need a way to filter it out which is why Okay, sorry about all that babbering on. Babbering, is that the word? Anyway, I'm sure you get the point, right? So um, what you need to do is way of drilling down. This is obviously why we made the uh, the algorithm on Mutru.ninja, so that we could basically filter out the very best coins that you want to buy. This is a down market. It's a buyer's market. So just like when the housing market goes down, uh, this is time to buy some really cheap stock, right? So... 
What we have right now is um, here on the Mutri.ninja site in, in the Masters area is the coins needed. What coins needed is, is if tomorrow every single coin on coin market cap was going to have a market cap of $4 billion, how many coins would you need to buy today to make a million dollars tomorrow? So how many coins would you need that would be worth a million dollars tomorrow? How much could you buy them for today? And what would the difference be? So what, what are the coins with the biggest potential gain? And of those coins, the algorithm basically filters out all the ones which don't do particularly good trading volume each day and or are just particularly poor coins. And we, we get a list of about 30 every single week. We add three new coins to the list. And of those coins, I get asked all the time in emails from people asking what are the new coins every single Sunday when we add them. You know, we've got people contacting me saying, you know, what are the new coins this week? So what we've done, what you can't see here underneath token name is we've added uh, some yellow little flags just to say that those are the new ones for the week. And um, where was it? I've completely forgot where I was. I do apologize. So basically, under initial cost, that is the day that we uh, added the coin, that's how much it would have cost you to buy those coins needed um, to buy that potential million dollars worth of coins if they were to be worth four billion someday in the future. Um, and then of course the current, so that is what the price is today. And then the difference, loss or gain. Obviously there's quite a lot of red there right now because, um, because we're in a major down market and Bitcoin has just gone down under $6,000. So anyway, what we have on the end, this is the new bit that we've added other than the new bits, which I've just mentioned, this is the new new bit. And what used to be there, it was a link, it was going to be, we were gonna click out to a graph to show the price difference, where the price has gone. But what we decided was, is basically, you know, if you click any of these names here, underneath token name, any of the names of the coins, you'll go to something like this one here, which is graphed. Uh, over on coin market cap and that gives you a chart so we were thinking why reinvent the wheel what we really want to do is add some new value you know give our members something that's actually useful so we what we decided is because there's a lot of people asking you know what I myself invest in or what's the most popular whatever so we decided to add the column for to show social proof so all you need to do as a member is if you like this top one Okay, you just click on it and say that you like it and then, then it just builds up a picture so that everybody can see the coins that other people like. Now, to decide whether or not you like them, obviously just click on them, go through the coin market count, check out the website, decide if that's something that is something that you're looking for to invest in. Obviously, as I've been talking about um, investing in property, it's going to be different for each individual investor. Some investors like to buy flats, some like to buy houses, some like to buy like small little B&Bs and, and do it per room on something like Airbnb. Um, every investor has got their different things of what they want in life, okay? So it's all personal, it's all down to you. There's no sort of golden egg in cryptocurrency, just like any other market. Um, you've just got to decide what it is that you want and then specialize in that. And obviously, if you like it and then you've checked it out, maybe a couple of weeks go by and you decide you don't like it anymore for whatever reason, you can just click it and then you don't like it. <laughs> okay, so as easy as that. So that's there just to show a bit of social proof and build up some popularity. As I'm showing you in this video, there's not a lot on there, it's just me and another guy in the office which has uh, put some put some likes in there because this is totally new. I've only just put this up, this is totally fresh on the site. So I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, maybe in a week or two and seeing some of you guys which have got on the site and see, see what's the most popular coins. So I'm quite interested to find out. Obviously, all you gotta do, uh, if I wanna go back to last month's, I can check this one's out here. And that's it, that's all you need to do. Now that's all cool and that's all a lot of fun, but the real question is, a lot of these coins have gone down a lot, right? And how do you know that if you're gonna invest in some of these, they're not gonna go down even further? And I've gotta be honest, for me, I believe they will, I really do. And I'm hoping that they do, I'm absolutely counting on it. So a lot of these coins that I do like, I've already invested in, or I have open orders in to buy. 
and I believe the prices are going to go down even more for at least the the larger majority okay so if we have a look over at Bitcoin we can see that over the last uh, few months this was way back in uh, December last year we come through into January we began the downward uh, fall so what we have here um, as it went all the way up it went well over this yellow line is the 120 day moving average if we scroll back a bit you can see that uh, Bitcoin just keeps coming up and bouncing off that 120 day moving average and then it went absolutely ridiculously high uh, well away from the 120 day moving average of course it was going to come back down it came down it bounced off but when it broke through it went all the way down to six thousand dollars it then went up and hit this little double top so when it failed to go past the previous high you knew really it was going to go back down off it went back down to six and a half thousand before coming back up and this was the bit where a few months ago I was uh, doing a video and saying that you know if it comes up above this 120 day move on average we might be back into a bull market it might be looking good unfortunately it just didn't stay above the 120 day move on average it came all the way back down again to where we are here today now I just want to make out a few little things clear to you you can see this trend line that we've got running down here which is a clear downward trend okay and the bottoms here you can draw another line across the bottoms which again is pointing downwards this particular pattern is like a descending wedge okay and what tends to happen is there's more and more sell pressure so as it came down we hit sell pressure here and then it came down the sell pressure was lower and as we come down we're probably going to find that um the sell the sellers will come in around the sort of seven and a half mark if it does pop up pop back up um and this bit is also getting lower but the gap between is getting smaller and smaller it's getting more and more compressed and what's going to happen is as we get further on down the line uh i can't see what date that is yes yeah, we get further on down here we're probably going to end up around in august sometime we're going to come all the way down and I don't know, maybe, maybe four and a half. That's got some, we've got some good resistance around four and a half if you go back. Or it's going to end up coming all the way down to about 3,000. Or maybe three, three and a half. I can't remember exactly where I saw it. I think around here. Yeah, about three. So you can see if you scroll back through the year, through, <laughs> through the years, through the year, um, it's coming back down to three. Now, is this really a bad thing, right? So, you know, a lot of people will be freaking out saying, hey, you know, this doesn't look good at all for cryptocurrency. But what you've really got to bear in mind is year on year. So where was we this time last year? It's currently June. Uh, if we look, here we are in June. So the price this time last year was about two and a half thousand pounds uh dollars two and a half thousand dollars we're currently at six thousand dollars so we're over double the price now when you look at the FTSE the Dow Jones even the price of gold or silver uh we're not double right you don't see them going up double maybe in the price of silver but you know you're not going to go double in a year especially not in the Dow Jones the FTSE or like the pound versus dollar in forex or anything like that it'd be ridiculous right so Bitcoin, even now, even though it's come all the way down from 20, we're still way up year on year. So we're not looking bad at all. In fact, if even if we came all the way down to 3,000 for August, I believe that August time last year, where are we? This is August. Yeah, around August, we were around the 3,000 mark. In fact, August was where it just broke through the 3,000 mark. So, you know, if we go back down to 3,000 by August, you know, it's only breaking even with where it was this time last year. So I don't think it's it's really that bad. But the point is, is when we come back up, you know, maybe that's going to be a good time to buy Bitcoin if that's your thing. For me, probably not. I'm not really that, that in, interested in Bitcoin. I'm more into altcoins because I believe that it's got the best uh, growth potential if you really want to make millions. You know, Bitcoin was great to invest in, you know, like 10 years ago, but maybe not now. Anyway, 
this is basically all that I want to show you. We've got the Ichimoku cloud as well. You can see in there, um, as it was coming out green, uh, you can see the Ichimoku cloud, it was pushed forward 21 days. So that, if I can scroll in a bit, scroll over. So yeah, as we were coming out, this was looking like it was turning green as well. It was a real opportunity. You know, we could have broke out at that point. It, it was looking fairly, um, fairly positive. But we took a dive down. You can see where we are right now. The Ichimoku cloud is also well, very well in the red. We're underneath this 120 day moving average. Everything's looking bad. Um, I, I personally think we're gonna go down to four and a half, maybe about three, but could be wrong. You know, this isn't a crystal ball. This is just basically going off the evidence that you can see on the charts, just going on off the general price action and the general trend is definitely downwards. I see no reason to call this the bottom. And um, yeah, that's about it for now. And I hope this has been somewhat insightful to you. So if you are looking to buy some sort of altcoins and you know, you wanna put some orders in, I would say, you know, the market looks like it's gonna go down. I would be a little bit cheeky if I was you. I know I am with my orders. Um, to maybe stagger the orders so you don't have them all in one big bulk at one point, but you just sort of stagger them down. But I think this is a really good buying opportunity. This is a bit like 2008 during the housing crisis and um, all the prices went down and developers were coming in or investors and just buying up houses really really cheap and it was a great time if you were if you were buying it was great that's exactly where we are right now here with crypto you know if you're a buyer this is a great opportunity so that's about it for now i just wanted to take this opportunity to remind you of some of the uh, cool features we've got coming out what we've been developing over the last few weeks obviously here we are this is the masters area in Ninja and we're getting two new modules down here in a couple of weeks time. So we've been working on the ICO review module. I'm sure all you need to do is go to your account page. Now it's free, anybody can come and join Mutual.Ninja and you'll be able to watch this video and this talks you through all the ways you can make some extra money with our new ICO review module. I can't wait for that to come out. That is uh, looking really good. And um, the other one we've got coming out is a little bit top secret okay so we've been filming it as we've been doing it it's, uh, i've got i've got high hopes for that one i think it's going to be brilliant i'm sure a lot of you guys are really going to get a lot a lot out of that and obviously we've got the coin buying service come out and a lot of other stuff too so that's about it for now lots in the mix lots happening i can't wait to release it for you guys and that's it i shall see you again soon